So I spoke about how Summer Games Fest, how it was super expensive to uh, get a few minutes of a trailer up at Summer Game Fest. So for one studio, they went the other way. They said, no, I'm not going to spend my money at Summer Game Fest. I'm not going to give them my money. I'm going to run a billboard outside the venue, but I'm not going to run a billboard for my own games. I'm going to run it for game studios that went belly up because they went too woke. So here I am. I'm doom scrolling Twitter on, on, on a morning where I'm just trying to make some videos and figure out what's going on in the world. And this is the aftermath of the Summer Games Fest. And then we have a one Steven Totilio, uh, a former Kotaku writer, of course. Of course it's a former Kotaku writer that's getting this up there. Um with this post we love you we miss you we hate money i'm like okay i have no clue what is going on here but an electronic billboard from new blood interactive in downtown la mourns the closure of arcane austin tango gameworks high five rush uh roll sev sony london studio volition <laughs> saints row and more gone but not forgotten Gone but for not forgotten, they, they list the studios how they uh, were around for a long time. Everyone laid off downside and made redundant. Thank you for great games from your friends at New Blood. And they, they made it look like a hacked billboard and yeah, we love you, we miss you, we hate money. Taken back by this, I was like, what? where was this? How is this going on? This was outside of Summer's Game Fest in Los Angeles. They put this billboard up out there, kind of in protest of, I'm going to guess, the price point that you had to pay for, uh, for getting time on stage at the Summer's Game Fest. I thought it was absolutely ridiculous where they are. Out of all of this, Steven Tutorial. Uh, and now you can read the entire story. Well, if you go to his story, you, you get a page, oh, you, you, you can keep reading if you sign up or if you pay them to keep reading. It doesn't really tell you much about what's going on here. So I was like, uh, what? So uh, there's people apparently suggesting that they should have taken shots at uh, executives like Phil Spencer up there. Uh, so I am kind of lost on all of this, but of course you got Games Radar picking it up, you've got Kotaku picking it up, IGN, PC Gamer, they're all picking up this story out of the blue. I didn't even hear about this, and apparently this went viral before, I'm just hearing about it now, today being the 8th, and this was put up two days ago. 3.3 uh, million views. Um, sure, I mean, it's a billboard. Uh, most people don't really pay that much attention to it. Viral $10,000 Summer Game Fest billboard playing respects to Fallen High Five Rush and Redfall Studios nearly put Xbox boss Phil Spencer on blast, but it's about the people were friends who got laid off. Well, I guess it's a full on marketing stunt by New Blood Studios or New Blood Interactive. The makers of games like Gloomwood, which I've never heard of before. I don't even know who these guys are. These are the games they make. Gloomwood, Dust, Ultra Kill, and Medieval. I looked at Ultra Kill and it just looks like a another one of these games where you're running around and you have everything being thrown at the screen. Gloomwood, uh, I guess. But once again, these are games I haven't heard of. Nothing I knew anything of. And I guess... It did its trick at this point because now I'm sitting here going, what in the world is going on here? These are games with like Redfall, which was an abysmally badly made game. They were forced to give refunds because no one could play it. And they had a DLC, people sign up for the DLC. They got that refunded. Um, I, I know viewers of the channel, they bought this game right off the bat to try and play it. They loaded it up, they couldn't even play the game. It was absolutely horrible. High Five Rush, probably being one of the more uh, stunning points of last year, being one of these games that Xbox picked up, they picked up the studio and then they closed the studio. And 
which really became a redundancy uh, at that point. Xbox or Microsoft at this point having so many people. A billboard playing tribute to Shuttered Game Studios and everyone laid off was placed right outside the most popular hotels around Summer Game Fest after the CEO of game publisher New Blood Interacted decided it'd be way cooler than throwing up an ad for one of our games. The, not to mention they also had trucks with their game logos and their games driving around the venue uh, in the area. So they did do a little bit more than that, but I think this is a big F you to the amount of money that was being asked to try and showcase these games. And here we are today. The billboard in question has been going viral on Twitter. It went viral. I didn't even hear of a peep of this. His article or his thing got 3 million views on it and his follow-up got on the same day this follow-up that he put out there has 25k views what is going on with twitter is twitter really showing us the things that are actually going on this makes me really question what it how viral how you go viral in in the world today um but it talks for arcane austin roll seven tango gameworks Volition and London Studio, uh, everyone's laid off, downsizing. Speaking to Taro, to Taro uh, in a game file interview, Dave Orshi, the CEO of New Blood Interactive, speaks about the decision to pay for a five-finger billboard, which sits outside the JW Marriott in Los Angeles in a spot where people are going to see it. I mean, did people, like, it wasn't posted to social media by anyone normal. It was posted by someone that's in the games industry, a journalist in the game industry with Kotaku, and they seem to be well-connected overall. So you have to sit here and go, okay, what actually happened here? What and how is this manufactured vi being going viral? Because that's what it feels like. That's what it looks like to me. I didn't hear anything about this. It wasn't in the trending tabs for Twitter. It wasn't anywhere spectacular in that sense. Now, yeah, when it comes down to Twitter and algorithms, usually they're going to show up for people that are in and around the gaming industry, paying close attention to it. And it's very strange that I saw absolutely nothing of this. So it makes me wonder how legitimate it went viral. Um, there's a lot of comments, a lot of people talking about how this is a new thing, uh, how this billboard sat outside there, uh, outside of Summer Games Fest. But it, what did it actually do? I, I don't even know. The, the article that was about it was paywalled. Well, what am I going to know about that? Why am I even going to bother looking more into that? Um, and it's very strange that they bring up Volition with uh, Saints Row as well in there uh, and a few others that just their actions for the video games destroyed the, no, destroyed the companies and the companies went belly up. The other side of that was Microsoft buying up other companies and shutting them down. So, yeah, this stuff happens. It sucks to see these games, companies, after their long tenure in and around video games, get shut down. But they also went to a method that was against the consumer, against the people that have the money to play their games. And if you're not able to capitalize on people paying money for these games, like with Saints Row and with Redfall, uh, in an appropriate manner, and you put out a mediocre title uh, with a mediocre story, people are just going to sit there and not buy it. And then who, where, where do you go? And now you're blaming the market. You're blaming everyone else. You're blaming the corporations that bought them up and uh, shut the studios. High Five Rush. It would have been nice to see the company stay around, but like I said, they probably would have gotten moved around and didn't see as many layoffs because the game did do quite well. But with other ones like Redfall and Saints Row, they were nowhere near a standard quality that you would expect out of these games. And obviously they spent way too money on these games and overreached, and that's why they are no longer there. So I guess wasting, you know, this is 
there's a couple points here. Uh, one, where they're spending this on a billboard, $10,000 on a billboard instead of paying $250,000 for a one minute airtime at Summer Games Fest. You know, good on you for that. That That's a really better way of using your money and making a strong point against why the Summer Game Fest was absolutely an abysmal way to spend money. But then the other side of it is, some a lot of these companies did it to themselves they they forced through an agenda they forced through something that wasn't ready to go onto the market and they got the backlash and the game studios just went belly up this is what happens this is the industry we're all in and a lot of these companies have rebranded and done something else or the people would should be falling back on their feet very well soon uh we've seen many many layoffs in and around the games industry but this is a ever flowing game industry at this point make something people want make what the masses want they will spend money like no tomorrow and you will have success but when you push these agendas, when you push crappy graphics, when you push substandard practices into these games, well, this is what you get. Anyway, I'm your Pocket Aim Phoenix in the Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.